what's going on guys it's josh refusion here and welcome back to an updated version of how to download unreleased songs and use them on spotify using spotify files as i made a video on this eight months ago and the video did really good it got over 60,000 views on it so i thought i should make a better updated video i'm also going to show you guys how to change the album art for the song and make sure all of the song details are correct so when you put them into spotify it looks all good i would appreciate if you guys would like and subscribe for more helpful videos and let's hop into it. Before we get into the tutorial, I want to make it clear that you do need Spotify Premium in order to download Spotify files. So the first thing we are going to need, guys, is some MP3 files to actually put into Spotify. So for this example, I have two Yeet songs. I have Yeet Crazy Up featuring Lil Yachty, and then I also have Yeet Yam. So if you guys are wondering where to get unreleased songs, that's a whole nother video that I could make in the future. But now that we have the songs, we need to do the first step, and that's preparing them to put them into Spotify. So the first thing we're going to want to do is right click on the song and go into properties. Whenever you download an unreleased song, usually Windows will say something about how this file came from another computer. You guys are going to want to go on there and unblock it and then click apply. But we're not done yet. Let's get this title fixed up. This is just the file name. I recommend making it the song name. Now that we're done with that, let's hop over to the details page. This is really important, guys. First thing you're going to want to do is come down to remove properties and personal information. Whenever you download an unreleased song, usually there'll be like random little information that's put in here, and this can actually mess up Spotify and not allow you to import it. So let's come over here and click remove the following properties from this file, then come down to select all and then click OK. Now that we have all the information removed from the file, we're just going to add what we want. So let's double click on title, control Contributing artists are going to be Lil Yachty. The album artist is Yeet. The album, if it is a part of an album, you can put in the album name, or if it's just a single, you want to put in the single title. The year and nothing else matters. From here, we can just click OK. So now all of our song details are set up and ready to be imported into Spotify. There's one last step though. I want the album art to look good and match my other songs. There's a few ways you guys can do this, but for this example, I'm going to use Windows Media Player. Now that we're in Windows Media Player, it can get confusing. But all we're going to want to do is search for the song. As you can see, it says one match in your library for Crazy Up, and it looks like there's some more info we need to fix. So first of all, let's get the album art. I have it on my desktop. I'm just going to right click, copy this, and then you want to right click on your song and paste album art and you can see it pastes in there mad easy and then all you guys are going to want to do to fix the unknown album artist is just right click click edit and then start editing your information and boom now our song is ready to be imported into spotify now that you guys are ready to import music into spotify the first thing we need to do is enable local files you guys are going to want to come up to the top left go to edit preferences, and then scroll down to where it says show local files. You want to make sure this is enabled. After you've enabled local files, you need to add a source for it to source the music from. That's why right now, that song that we just edited the details for, I'm going to drag this song into my designated unreleased Yeet music folder. That way, if I move the song, there's not going to be any sort of corruption. Coming back to Spotify, I'm going to add a source and I just added my unreleased Yeet music folder. Now you guys are going to want to go to your library and then go to your local files. Now your local files is going to be all the files that are sourced from the folders that you just chose. As you can see, I type up crazy and crazy up pops right up. I just added that to my unreleased playlist. Now that I've added the song to my unreleased playlist, I want to go on my phone and make sure that I have local files turned on on Spotify. I feel like I forgot to mention this in the video, but you need to download your playlist after you've added your music to it. You need to make sure that the playlist is downloaded not only on your desktop, but also on your mobile device that you want the music on. You guys want to make sure that you have local files enabled on your phone. I saw a lot of people struggling with this from the last tutorial, and I thought I should just make it clear, you need to have local files on for this to work. As well, you need to have Spotify Premium to be able to listen to unreleased songs because it's technically listening to music offline. And as you guys can see, it's that easy to get unreleased music onto your phone. If I missed anything this video, or if you guys have any ideas for future videos, make sure you leave them down in the comments below. This has been Josh Refusion here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.